I saw this article that came out 10 years ago about this horrible thing in India in a, in a place called Bhopal. I'd never seen that name before. B-H-O, B, Bhopal, never seen Bhopal. And there was chemical spill and chemicals in the people were dying, they were going blind. <clears throat> Turned on television and they saw it and I said, gee, I don't even know what, what this is. So I went to a gazetteer and looked up Bhopal. It's the first thing I did. Um, the photos, the films on, on television by the reporters look like a, you know, big village. They were at the train station in this village. And as I kept on hearing about this, and it became, I think, the second biggest news story the first year of the tragedy, and it still is unsolved, it's still not through because they still haven't settled the lawsuits. I realized that the reporters were just never saying something as simple as, Bhopal is a large city. It's a city about the size of San Francisco or Boston. And by looking that up, my whole perception of that story was changed forever. So for years, I would bring this up in meetings and I'd ask people, you know, how big do you think Bhopal is? You would know what Bhopal is. Is it the size of a small village, a big village, a town, a city? Most everybody said it was sort of a medium to large village, right? A year after the accident, just happened to be an anniversary, I was having lunch with Tom Brokaw and his staff, and I mentioned this. He asked me to give a little talk, and I mentioned this. And a third of the staff there said, well, hey, we're not in the geography business. A third of them didn't care, and a third of them did care. But they all thought it was a large village. Ten years or eight years after the accident, the New York Times did a story on Bhopal, still unsolved, still not, you know, still not settled, not unsolved, but not settled. And their lead sentence was, Bhopal, the largest city in central India. And I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What's another city in central India? If somebody said it was the largest city in central India, I would say four million people, five million people. India has these huge teeming hordes of people. It would be millions and millions of people. No, it's six, seven hundred thousand. So there's a meaningless phrase again. The largest city in central India. Doesn't make any sense. Is there a vested interest in people not understanding? I don't believe in the conspiratorial theory of, of information. I think when the newspapers for years don't uh, really report clearly about the tragedy in Bhopal. I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it's a, um, a conspiracy with the chemical companies or with the Indian government. Um, I think it's, uh, an awful lot of it has to do with the disease of familiarity. That, uh, you know, we've all had professors who we, we felt really knew the subject and yet never made it understandable to us because they knew so much about it they didn't understand what it was like not to understand. See, that's the fundamental moment. How can you understand what it's like not to understand?